James, Jacques, welcome to Germany. Welcome to the Big Green Egg German Challenge. And we thought, what better way to kick this off than to have a little grill out, test your uh, bratwurst skills, eager to see what you got going, and uh, don't poison me. And that's uh, basically all I asked for. James, you're first off. Are you a uh, culinary expert? Uh, my culinary arts wouldn't be the greatest, but okay. here we are, and we'll give it a shot. We'll judge that later, huh? <laughs> Mmm, lovely. So do you do much uh, grilling at home? Obviously in Ireland the weather isn't, isn't quite as good. exactly great grilling weather, but we do a little bit. I've never cooked on a green egg before. You've got some tough competition here, uh, you know. I said it's not, it's not really fair putting up against a South African, but... Yeah, you should have got another European in there maybe, I think. <laughs> if you pay me right, I'll say that yours is better, huh? What about you, Jock? You uh, think you see yourself here as the favorite? without being too cocky? Yeah, well, coming from South Africa, we obviously uh, grill out quite a bit, so um, I wouldn't say the favorite, but I think I've got a good chance here. Yeah. That's a nice way of saying you're the favorite. <laughs> Lamb chops in South Africa, I mean, you can't get better. Really? To be honest, you can't get better. The Karoo lamb chop, oh man, it's got that, just an unbelievable taste. Looking good, here we go, there we go. You like a bit of that? Here we go. Looking very good. Nice, okay, okay. Sure, now, how long the how long they how long they take to cook, but <laughs> you're kind of at a disadvantage, aren't you? Yeah. I, going first. I'm gonna I'm gonna be here in a second. Oh, that wasn't long enough. Yeah. And you'll know what to do. Huh? Okay. You the taster, but uh, it looks pretty good. It's so far so good. Just got a few seconds just to have it nice and crispy for him. I know that's the way he likes it. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I might give you just a little bit more sauce. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not allowed to. Okay, here we go. This is the big moment. Mm. Mm. It's cooked very well. This is well done. It's a good sausage though too, a lot of taste. No onions, I hate onions, so perfect. Can't do much better than this, man. Good job. Thank very you. nice. Thank you, early. Thank you. Well Two points for Gryffindor, nice dude. Well done. Yeah, from all my hours in the kitchen, okay. bang off. <laughs> Jacques, your turn. Alrighty. The bar's been set high, and I'm not saying that to make people happy here. It's yeah, actually, right. it's actually very good. Wow. Give another bite here. Good man. <laughs> Heard all about your Brian uh, expertise. Let's see if you can cook on the big green egg as well. Big green egg. Like I yeah. said earlier, I've never, I've never brought on one of these. James came out very good. What well, can I say? I will say he's cutting the ro the roll a bit different to I did, but I think he's trying to get a yeah, advantage more here. hot dog kind of. See, you know, it's it's all about presentation, isn't it? It is. I, you know what? I agree with you there. Yeah. What's nice on these things? It says exactly what the temperature is. If you know what you're dealing with, then yeah, that that kind of helps. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. A little bit of salt on it. That's good. I feel like I cook quite a bit at home, and I feel like spicing of it is everything. If you get the sauce right and you get the flavors right, that's that's like it. And a lot of people, I mean, saying in South Africa would tell you that you get a certain spice that is just better for some certain meats yeah. um, than others. I mean, that's why we do a lot with um, with the biltong as well. So the biltong right. is, there, there's, a, there's one type of spice in South Africa called Ferdi Hirsch. Okay. They do a proper, proper biltong. And for sausage as well. As well. How's it look, James? I can't see it. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks pretty good, I must say. We shall see. The proof is in the pudding. In Ireland, what is what's like traditional Irish food? I suppose it's a bit stereotypical, but it probably is still fair to say that we do eat a lot of potatoes. Okay. Um, even like to this day at home, probably would have potatoes four or five times a week. The steak in Ireland is ranked pretty high in the world. It's pretty good. So I do eat I do eat quite a lot of steak. When when I was told about this, I thought we were like bringing our own food and oh. cooking like our own meal. Yeah. So I had a fillet steak plan, but. Oh man, Jack, what are we looking like? I think that's, that's me. That's, that's you? me done. <laughs> Meat is very similar to James. Mm -hmm. I will say James's cutting technique was better. It's kind of hard for me to get out here, especially I had my teeth done in January, so I don't want to break them off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, let's uh, Let's get, yeah, here, let's get this back in. It's tight. 
I'm going to just give it to South Africa. Oh, that's fair. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, fair. brother. No. You did a very good job. <laughs> Cheers, Chad. Thank you. Well played. Well played. Good job, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks brother.